Hello, my lovely Taurians, and a very warm welcome to your June 2021 horoscope. Now, this month we've got two big events. One is the eclipse on the 10th, and two is the fact that Mercury will go direct on the 23rd. So if at all possible, Taurians, do your best not to get into important contracts, negotiations, deals, new projects until after the 23rd, if you can. If you can't, then just triple check and quadruple check any important information. Because chances are with a Mercury retrograde, you may just find that you're repeating something. That's all. And it's tedious. Now, on the third of the month, we have got Venus coming to join Mars in your third house, lovely Taurians. So third house has to do with learning, teaching, sharing information, technology. It's a good time for connecting with people in your neighborhood or just connecting with people generally. The third house has to do with your mental uh, agility. So you might be learning a new language. You might be learning a new subject, or you might be teaching it to others. On the 10th of the month, here we are, we get the solar eclipse happening here in your second house. A lot happening in the second house for you this month, lovely Taurians. It's the money house, but it's also the house of values. What's important to you? And a solar eclipse can upturn your values. What was important to you may no longer be important to you. Maybe your big thing was to own something and you find that owning it isn't going to give you as much pleasure as you thought it would. Maybe your money is better spent somewhere else. You might be seeing money from a different angle. You might be spending your money differently, saving your money differently, looking at all sorts of new possibilities. And you might be starting a new business, launching a service or a product. And you may also be looking at your own talents and looking to develop something that is yet undeveloped. It's a seed, but it needs some watering and some fertilizer and some attention for it to grow into something. Many talents inside of you, Taurus, time to develop them. And remember the energies of the eclipse last for up to six months afterwards. So it's not just this month, it's gonna last for the rest of the year. On the 12th of the month, we got Mars coming into your fourth house. You might feel like moving, you might move, you might be doing a lot of things around the home. You could be renovating, upgrading, repairing, generally busy in the home area, and maybe busy with family members or something to do with family. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun coming into your third house. And on the 23rd, Mercury does go direct in this second house. So focus on this second, third house for you, lovely Taurians. Um, has to do with um, really shining your light and being willing to learn. What is it I'm interested in? What am I reading about? What are the gems that I'd like to share with others? What can I do more with my creativity? Because you're very, very creative. And on the 24th of the month, we've got this full moon happening here in your ninth house, along resonating along with Pluto. This is shining a light and saying, hey, you know what? You can be a little more confident than you are. Sometimes you're a little shy, Taurus. Time to strut your stuff. Time to say what's important to you, what's authentic to you. You may meet somebody quite special from overseas or from a very different culture and background to you. That could be very fascinating. You might be traveling. This would be a wonderful time for traveling or for planning a trip. And whilst Uranus is still in your sign for a few years yet, you've got to keep reinventing yourself, Taurus. There's just no two ways about it. You can't sit on your laurels too long. You've got to just keep moving, taking risks, 
and stepping out. So I'm cheering you on, wonderful Torians, and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.